Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video, we're going to have a look at a new ROM that is Superior OS. Of course, this is based on Android 9 Pie. Of course, this is close to AOSP ROMs or, you know, very pure Android experience and stuff like that. Uh, I may or may not have tried this ROM in the past. I'm not really sure. But today we're going to install it. I'll show you the installation steps. And at the same time, I will have a quick look and preview at this wonderful ROM and see how amazing it is. And does it, reserve, does it deserve a full review or not? But before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. <laughs> Alright guys, so in today's video, we're gonna have a look at Superior OS for the Pocophone F1 and in yesterday's upload itself in the RR full review, somebody mentioned this ROM and this was on cards anyways. So before we begin the install and preview for this wonderful ROM, let me inform you about a few basic things that you need to take care of. You need to make sure you have an unlocked bootloader, you have TWRP installed, the ROM file and uh, the G apps and the decrypt file that is DFE should be copied to your phone's internal or external memory depending on your choice. At the same time, before installing this, make sure you are on the latest beta so that you don't have any firmware related issues. And after that, things that you need to ensure is back up all the information and you need to make sure you have at least more than 50% battery. Now, once you are done doing that, all you need to do is boot into TWRP, wipe, advanced wipe, Delvic cache system data, swipe to wipe, go back to the home screen, install, and then select superior OS, add more zips, select open G apps, add more zips and select DFE, swipe to confirm flash. Now remember we are flashing three different files over here. So this flash might take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. And, uh, once this flash is done, I will be setting it up and leaving for work. So I'll be using this ROM as my daily driver, maybe for a day or two. And then we will review this one as well. We do have Havoc OS that is lined up for a review, Lineage OS 16 that is lined up for a review after this one. So we have at least, uh, you know, two more installs and previews and three more full ROM reviews that are coming. So let's wait for the files to install and then we will proceed once it starts booting. All right, now, as you can see, everything is flashed. So we will go to wipe cache in Dalvik, and then we will go to reboot system. Now we will quickly have a look at the boot animation, superior OS. That's a pretty, pretty minimalistic boot animation. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up. All right, so we are on the home screen of superior OS over here. This is a lawn chair launcher. It looks pretty, pretty slick. We do have a black colored theme, a black background, and Google feed is integrated to the left, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And uh, when the phone started, we did hear a Pikachu notification tone. So that's pretty funny as well. At the same time, what I like about this ROM, it does have a few application, but then again, it doesn't really go overboard. And uh, if we have a look, we have the red and black accent going on, which is my favorite personally. So if we go to settings over here and if we go to about now, this does have the latest June security patch. This is the latest version of this ROM. Now, along with this, what I'm experiencing is the first impressions are very, very smooth, very, very slick over here. We do have digital well-being that is included. And if we go to superior settings, we have a lot of customization, which is laid out in a very, very good manner as well. So all in all, more or less, this will be a lot of fun to review this particular ROM. Talking about the camera, which camera do we have over here? We have the basic camera, which comes for all the custom ROMs. And apart from that, anything specific or special over here? Not really. It looks like a very, very good and very, very promising ROM. Voice over LT is working on both the sims and all the basic functionalities and features are working perfectly fine. The ROM is butter smooth. So let's see how this ROM does in my daily use and in the full review. This ROM does have a full, you know, 
per app thermal profile and stuff so it'll be exciting to check that in gaming and stuff but until we review this we need to use it first so let me know in the comment section if you liked this install and preview video or not and throw in your suggestions in the comment section as well at the same time we have included a donation link in the description you can go ahead and donate and support the channel so that we can support more devices as well well that was the install and preview of superior os for the pocophone f1 until the next one this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.